Good evening all. How are we all doing? <coughs> On this bloody damp wet evening in the UK, down here in the south. Anyway, aside that, I'm going to actually try something for the first time. <coughs> and I'll try and actually... It might be a bit long drawn out. It might not be. I don't know. We'll see how we get on. But I'm going to try and actually do a build whilst you're watching me build it. So, uh, basically what it was is um, I've been asked by a few people, but one in particular, about how I do the metal effects on this Phantom. So this is the Meng 48 Phantom, which I showed you. So I've got it this far. And I've done a load of metal effects on it. And then now I do my wash. And I think I've shown you how to do some fading of some panels and a bit of this and a bit of that. But maybe what people really want to look at is, I don't know, but um, maybe if I just built one. So from the box to this um you know uh i thought maybe that might be might be the case might be the done thing the whole idea is to learn along the way you know um if i make any cock-ups or mistakes you're going to see them we ain't all perfect when you see all these good fantastic modelers you know all that do you know what they all make mistakes. Every last one of them. We all do. Because we're, you know, we can't be... Well, I don't think there is anything such as perfect, but um, we can't be perfect all the time, as the saying goes. So I thought, right, <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll... Um, I'll do a build. I'll stick to the same aircraft, the Phantom. Now, this is the F4G. I have got two of these, but the other one I couldn't find, so I ended up buying this one. And, um, yeah, you know, and this one's a pretty clean aircraft. It was a Spangled Island bird. And um, although I've got virtually to the stage now, I'm going to put the decals on it. But if I forget this one, move this one aside and concentrate on this one. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build this one. And uh, so if any of you... I've never had a look in the box. You know, this is what you get. You get a set of instructions with the paint schemes in the back. Right. And then you get the kit itself. There's no point going for it because I'm going to rip these bags open as I go. Now, when you look in the plans, so we'll just go through these things. So, so, like, you get the, the copy as being a starter. Um... Then it goes on to doing some wheel bays, sticking the rear end together and all the rest of it. And then you get the engines, you know, the, the front part, the intakes, the back part, the exhausts. Uh, then you get the intakes here. Um, you know, by that time, the fuselage joined together. Right, <clears throat> I've already done one of these once, so... And I, and I don't... For those of you that don't know, I'm autistic. And... Although I read all this, um, I don't always do it how the plans to do it. So I won't go from the front to the back. So depending on what's, you know, what I think is pretty easy, I might do this first, put the seats together. You know, we've all got our quirky ways of doing things, but some people like doing the weapons first. You know, uh, I think on that one... Um, I think I did put the copy together first, I'm not too sure. When I built it up, I didn't do this bit because I painted all this bit before I did any of this. Um, and then I stuck um, these two pieces in here, which is the auxiliary housings underneath. Um, I'd already put the fans together, I hadn't put them in the holes. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll do my way of how I put this together. But when it goes together, it'll go together. So I think for all those that, that want to have a 
you know, a nice looking Phantom with a bit of nice, you know, burn and burnish on the rear end. I will do my best for you. And we shall, turn it over, it's quite a big box lid. We shall build this. So, um, I'll call this an introduction. So this is an introduction. And then part one, I will do, and I will film it, and then we'll go from there. I'll do what I can do in the time of building whichever parts I choose to do. So say if I do the engines first, I'll do them from start to finish. So the build might be an hour long, it might be half an hour long. I don't know. It's however long it takes me to do it, but you will see how I do it. And I'll explain what I'm doing as I'm going along. So if that all sounds good fun, then give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, tell your friends and your whoever, really. Local fish in the pond, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, so there we go. That's what we're going to be doing. The Ming 148 F4E Phantom 2. We'll do it in this scheme. And, um, yeah, blinding. Thanks very much. And I'll see you soon in this part one. Bye for now. Tsh